<laughs> if Duggan wants me to pose nude, he's gonna have to pay me double. Hello, ladies. Look at your keyboard. Now back to the screen. Look at your keyboard. And back to the screen. You'll see there's an annotation link on there. Go and click it. Yes, you just got dug and rolled. Now look back to your keyboard. And to the screen, the link is gone. Look at your keyboard once again, and look at the screen. You'll see another annotation. Go and click this one. Yes, this is my YouTube prank for April 2012. Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome to April. Hello, kids and kittens. Dug in here. <laughs> And yes, welcome to April. It'll come off in a moment. Success! Mmm. First Guinness of the day. It's delicious. I'm not quite sure I'm going with that shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, yeah, I, I don't think I have the right complexity of uh, vocal talents to imitate the uh, Old Spice man, but I still do enjoy the Old Spice, um, even though it's not very effective at keeping down the perspiration. New annotation on screen now. <laughs> I won't deny that these videos usually go on the first of the month. However, since obviously it was April Fools yesterday, even though I'm recording this on April Fools and then posting it on the second of April, um, I kind of chose to give it a day, if that makes sense, before posting this video, so people don't think I'm doing another April Fools prank. If that makes sense, even though um, there's nothing really jokey in this video whatsoever. <laughs> um, I should say thank you very much to HC Swagger for putting up with all of my shit. Yes, <laughs> there's been a lot of it. And obviously I'd like to uh, point out that this is my first official uh, AC-130 video. Um, totally legitimate, um, no boosting whatsoever, and no killstreaks. Um, however, obviously it was on a private server somewhere in Azerbaijan because the lag is like the shits, and also someone's messed up with gravity. But it's still a legitimate AC-130, I did not use any cheats myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Technicalities for the win! <laughs> Ah, uh, ouch! Well, I'm not quite sure I'm going with that shit. All of, with regards to roundups of what I've done recently, um, not much is a straight, honest answer. Um, I think it's work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, watch Dollhouse, work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, edit some video files. Um, so that's kind of why I've been inactive of late. And yes, I just use finger quotes, even though you can't see them. However, back to HC Swagger. He was very, very kindly put up with my complete inactivity of late and my addiction to Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Um, and as such, why I haven't been on for Modern Warfare 3. It's not that Modern Warfare 3 is a crap game, no, God forbid, no. And not that we're only looking at discussions about the new Black Ops 2 game, or Iron Wolf. No, it's, it's, I, I'm just idle as fuck and I just like playing every now and again. And I work to my own timetable and also time zones don't help. But I met this nice chap, HC Swagger, on one of Ricky Chops' videos. I shall do my best to find the video in question, but in the meanwhile, just assume it was Ricky Chops. United! Two random PC gamers together. Huzzah! There you are, Ricky Chops. That's my shadow for the week. Month. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> it might seem daft when I'm giving Ricky, Ricky Chops a shout out. I remember Chops when he was knee high to a grasshopper. And to say though, that kind of statement, and to still have him respond to my twits and emails every now and again. It's a, it's a self-reassuring statement that I know people who know people, if that makes sense. Uh, it makes no sense whatsoever. I'm just talking out of my ass again. But it is still nice to send out the old tweet and old message every now and again and get a response from these guys. Creatures of the Unnever are a good example. I think also Rock Lobster does them from time to time. I think the next biggest one up in the food chain would be Tradecraft, but I think technically I don't know Tradecraft well enough myself, I think I only made one tweak and she responded because it was topical and I was within seconds. Any videos of significance I want to draw your attention to? Nothing by myself, technically. Although I have submitted a couple of videos to Machine Realm, they have taken their merry time in posting their videos themselves. Which leads me to ponder that Swartor is going the way of a dinosaur. It's, it's not a WoW killer. I think WoW itself is the WoW killer. No, that made no sense whatsoever. Wow is wow. It is wow. World of Warcraft is wow. I think there'd be three videos I'd draw your attention to myself. One of them would be the dissection of my dissection of nope.avi, combined with a dissection of yeah.avi, giving us the fatalist equation of life, which I thought was insightful, to say the least, and it's nice to see someone actually thinking outside the box, even though I was thinking outside the box, even though copying a comment, technically. <laughs> The second video would be the Geico impersonation upon the Machinima network. I'm almost certain somebody's going to highlight that yes, it's the same video file I use for um, Padawan Co. And it's 
run about the same sort of thing, but that is a Geico advert in itself. Uh, my personal favourite is, can Geico save you money? And did the little piggy go wee 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 all the way home, and you then have a little pig leaning out the window going wee! Mm, we. I'll link you to that video as well. The third one would be Mass Defect. Um, don't ask me to pronounce the guy's name because I just can't, but he's done a series of these little videos and he's spoofing Seth Green, who played Joker in Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. Uh, for one of his, don't leave Chris Crocker alone, it was impersonating the whole thing and drawing on eyeliner. And it, I think the video itself was done well, he then tweaked it to be, she leave Shepard alone! You don't save the galaxy, he saves the galaxy! When you've done what he's done, then you can criticize him! Ah! Wah, 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 wah. Personally, I was actually waiting for one scene when I actually see Seth Green actually touch up the, the eyeliner underneath his eyes, but that's a different kettle of fish altogether. <laughs> Uh, future plans, um, I'm currently working on the special effects and colour correction of a short piece in Team Fortress 2 Gmod for Z Dictator. Um, I'm not intentionally dragging my heels on this one, I've just been having problems with addiction to Mass Effect 3. And the multiplayer and other bits and pieces. Um, which does kind of indirectly bring me around to a video I posted up recently, or video series, detailing the end of Mass Effect 3, or I should say giving you the interactive access. Um, I know there's one troll on there, Saojon, I'm looking at you, bitch, um, who highlighted that technically he'd started the game as a renegade for Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 1, and he'd understand who he's now working for the Alliance, so technically there wasn't proper following through from Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 3. Thus, the ending that you see here, you'd still be working for the Elusive Man, or his ending would involve working for the Elusive Man. But obviously we also know that Elusive Man's gone a little bit la-la in working for Cerberus and he's employing Reaper tech left, right and centre, converting all his guys to husks. Oops, spoiler alert. And finally back round to this channel. I'm still leaning towards the whole gameplay shenanigan aspect of what I've done in the past and just, put pure, putting, up, and just putting up pure gameplay. Also, obviously once I kicked the habit of Mass Effect 3 and got on with more rest of my life, I can get back to doing some regular shit. I have a kind of a series of little short little clippy videos I want to do, and then I'll be looking to do more larger pieces from there. I know it's suitably vague, but um, meh. There's not much more I can really add to that. It's kind of meh. My mind's just kind of working on empty at minutes because I'm kind of right as a block. Because I can't really do anything too fantastically creative! So I think I'll stop her there and uh, say ciao.
sensational!